Well, hello everyone. Here I am at Caratunk Wildlife Refuge, where I'm just looking around, seeing what there is to see. So, here are the plants that I've deemed worth noting. Here they are now. We're starting off with a really special plant. Uh, it's perfectly suited in its water-loving forest habitat, the white turtle head, which the flower resembles a turtle head. Another special plant right off the bat is the ghost pipe, which is a parasitic plant. You can see it has no green color, meaning it has no chlorophyll, and it gets all of its nutrients from the soil, feeding off the roots of oak trees. Here we have the white wood aster, which is always found in a heavily wooded canopy, has these long ray florets and is a common presence in the late summer. This is Queen Anne's lace, or you might call it wild carrot, docus carota. And right in the center, there's a red flower and the rest are white little flowers. Here we have the white meadow sweet, also called spirea alba a raceme of little white flowers that bees love. Notice the serrated leaves as well. Special little woody plant. Here we have the spotted knapweed, which is a non-native plant. Common thistle-like flower. Now this native plant is called rabbit tobacco. It's uh, in the daisy family, Asteraceae, and you can see these clustered white flowers. Also notice that leaves, which if you rub your hands on them, it gives off a maple syrup-like scent. That's quite pleasing. I find this flower to be very interesting, and it's always found in the late summer. Sassafras. This is a common flavoring of root beer, and it's a little tree that resembles a dinosaur's footprint. Quite a special New England native. Mm, the blue vervain is a special looking plant. Notice the long stalk and the simple purple flowers. Verbena histata. There are many types of goldenrod, and this is a special one called the flat top goldenrod. Most goldenrod that you might think of is actually Solidago canadensis, which has long racemes that extend outward with the little yellow flowers. But this one, the little yellow flowers are arranged in clusters and are on a flat top. This is an interesting little flower. Gallia malugo, the hedged bed straw, has a world leaf pattern and simple little four-leafed flowers arranged quite interestingly. The Deptford pink, this is from the carnation family or the pink family, which actually the color pink gets its name from the flower. Here it is. The Deptford Pink, a little flower. I always love a lobelia, and this is the great blue lobelia. Big fan of the wetland environment, this flower. Notice the three lobes protruding, three petal lobes. Ah yes, garden phlox. It has five pink petals arranged on a tubular flower. Last of all, let's take a moment to appreciate the red clover with its bean-shaped flowers arranged in a ball. Don't sleep on clover. Well, thank you all for joining me on this trip through Caratunk Wildlife Refuge. Stay tuned, and until next time, 
keep looking at plants.